Dear students, welcome back to our channel. Today we learn how to solve linear differential equations with the non-constant coefficients. These equations are in the form of d square y by dx square plus p into dy by dx plus qy equal to r. We take this equation as 1. And its linear homogeneous equation is d square y by dx square plus p into dy by dx plus qy equal to 0. Let y equal to u is a known solution of the complementary function of equation 1. Then y equal to u is a solution of equation 2. Let y equal to uv be the solution of equation 1. y equal to u is a solution of equation 2. And y equal to uv is a solution of equation 1. Where u and v both are the functions of x. There are several methods. Now we discuss inspection method. Methods of finding one integral in complementary function by inspection. y equal to e power mx is the solution of equation 1 if m square plus pm plus q equal to 0. By putting m is equal to 1, y equal to e power x is the solution of equation 1 if 1 square plus p into 1 p plus q equal to 0. Now we put m equal to minus 1. y equal to e power minus x is a solution of equation 1 if minus 1 whole square plus p into minus 1 plus q equal to 0 which implies 1 minus p plus q equal to 0. If 1 plus p plus q equal to 0, if this condition is satisfied, y equal to e power x is the part of the complementary function. If 1 minus p plus q equal to 0, then y equal to e power minus x is the part of complementary function by inspection for equation 1. Second one, y equal to x power m is a solution of equation 1 if m into m minus 1 plus p m x plus q x square equal to 0. If this condition is satisfied, this is the solution of equation 1. Now we put m is equal to 1. Then y equal to x is the solution of equation 1 if 1 into 1 minus 1, 0. 1 into 1 minus 1, 0. p into 1x plus q into x square equal to 0. Then we will get px plus qx square equal to 0. Taking x as common, p plus qx equal to 0. If this condition is satisfied, y equal to x is the solution of equation 1. Now we put m is equal to 2 y equal to x square is a solution of equation 1 if uh, 2 plus 2px plus qx square equal to 0. We have to substitute in place of m we must write 2. 2 into 2 minus 1 plus p into 2x plus qx square equal to 0. If this condition is satisfied y equal to x square is the solution of equation 1. Now we will see one problem. Solve x square d square y by dx square minus of x square plus 2x into dy by dx plus x plus 2 into y equal to x cube e power x. This is the given differential equation. Now we convert this equation into standard form by dividing equation 1 by x square. Divide equation 1 by x square. d square y by dx square minus of x square by x square 1, 2x by x square 2 by x, into dy by dx x by x square 1 by x plus 2 by x square into y equal to x cube e power x by x square gives x e power x this is the standard form now we compare this equation with d square y by dx square plus p into dy by dx plus qy equal to r therefore we got p minus of minus 1 minus 2 by x. We multiply with minus. q 1 by x plus 2 by x square. r x e power x. On comparing this equation with this standard form, d square y by dx square plus p into dy by dx plus qy equal to r. p equal to <laughs> minus 1 minus 2 by x. q 1 by x plus 2 by x square r x e power x. So we got these values. Now we test p plus qx. p minus 1 minus 2 by x. 
cube 1 by x plus 2 by x square into x. So minus 1 minus 2 by x. x cancel plus 1. Here also we cancel 1x plus 2 by x. So plus 2 by x minus 2 by x plus 1 minus 1 cancel we got 0. p plus qx equal to 0. And therefore y equal to x is the solution of complementary function of equation 1. To find the complete solution of equation 1, we have to put y equal to vx in equation 1. We find out dy by dx by differentiating it with respect to x, we will get v plus x into dv by dx. By, by using product rule, u derivative of v plus v derivative of u. Again, we differentiate with respect to x. d square y by dx square equal to v derivative is dv by dx. Again, by using product rule, x into d square v by dx square plus dv by dx into 1. So, we got x into d square y v by dx square plus 2 dv by dx. Now, we substitute these three in equation 1. Equation 1 turns to, equation 1 implies x into d square v by dx square plus 2 into dv by dx minus of 1 plus 2 by x into dy by dx. dy by dx is v plus x into dv by dx plus 1 by x plus 2 by x square into y. y is vx and right side is x into e power x. Now we multiply x d square v by dx square plus 2 into dv by dx minus 1 into v minus v minus 1 into x into dv by dx minus x into dv by dx minus 2 by x into v minus 2 v by x minus x cancel 2 into dv by dx. We multiplied these two brackets. Now we multiply these two. 1 by x into vx v x x gets cancelled. On cancelling x we will get here 2 v by x equal to x into e power x. Cancel plus 2 v by x minus 2 v by x minus v plus v plus 2 dv by dx minus 2 into dv by dx. The remaining terms are x into d square v by dx square minus x into dv by dx equal to x into e power x. We consider this as equation 3. Now we convert this equation into linear differential equation by taking dv by dx uh, some t we consider. Differentiating with respect to x we will get d square v by dx square is equal to dt by dx. Here we can take x as common and cancel. First of all we do that step x common d square v by dx square minus dv by dx equal to x into e power x. Cancel x. We take this as equation 4. Now we substitute. In place of d square v by dx square we write dt by dx minus dv by dx is replaced by t equal to e power x. This is a linear differential equation type 1. In the previous classes we have discussed all the types. So here now we compare this equation with dy by dx plus py equal to q. This is a linear differential equation type 1. So on comparing this uh, equation with this equation, uh, in place of p we have a minus 1 and in place of q e power x. Here dependent variable y in place of y we have t. We got p is equal to minus 1 and q is equal to e power x. p is a constant and q is a function of x. In this uh, problem the dependent variable is t. Now we find out integrating factor e power integral p into dx. 
e power integral minus 1 dx minus 1 integral is minus x now solution is y into integrating factor is equal to integral of q into integrating factor dx plus c this is a solution of linear differential equation type 1 in the last classes we have seen this uh, type now we replace the dependent variable y by t and the integrating factor we got e power minus x integral of q is uh, e power x integrating factor e power minus x dx plus c t into e power minus x is equal to any of these two gets cancelled one time integral of 1 is x plus c so we find out now t equal to we bring this e power minus x to the right side x into e power x plus c into e power x e power minus x will turn to e power x on bringing to the right side this is t now we replace t what is t dv by dx in the last steps we have considered dv by dx as t now we are again replacing t dv by dx is equal to x into e power x plus c e power x now in order to uh, remove this uh, derivative with respect to x we have to integrate it with respect to x integral d by dx of v is equal to integral x into e power x plus c e power x whole dx so derivative and integral with respect to x cancel v is equal to on integrating x e power x by using by parts we will get x e power x minus e power x plus c is a constant we have to bring it outside the integral e power x integral is e power x so here we are applying uh, by parts because it has uh, two x functions so on applying by parts uh, integral x e power x is x e power x minus e power x plus c e power x integral is itself c e power x so we have to add since this is an indefinite integration we must add some constant consider it as a c dash therefore v is equal to x into e power x minus e power x plus c e power x plus c dash this is the v this is v now we have to find out the complete solution for this uh, linear differential equation of no, with the non non constant coefficients so therefore complete solution of equation 1 is y is equal to uv y is equal to u we got it as x and v x e power x minus e power x plus c e power x plus c dash so therefore y is equal to x square e power x minus x e power x plus c x e power x plus c dash x this is the complete solution of equation 1 in this session we have discussed only one problem in the next session we will discuss some more problems hope you understood this class thank you